And welcome back to Let's Play Darklands with me, Polar Dash. Last time on Darklands, um, we uh, walked to Cone from the city of Koblenz. Um, and got some sightseeing done, right? Uh, we visited a monastery that uh, was not as monastery as Inferno liked. Um, they were all into, into whips and... Uh, leather couches, and uh, there was a fat guy, <laughs> because that matters. Um, and then, the, what, we got jumped by some wolves that kind of wandered off into the road uh, from the woods that were to the west, and uh, yeah, now we're here. So I think for this part, uh, we'll be walking to Aachen, exciting, and probably shop around, browse around, and um, I think Pink still wants his... Wants a short sword as we take the leadership badge away from him, because I just noticed that. Um, so, so let's get to it. I, I think there's really nothing else left to do here but to leave, right? I think so. I know what I'm doing. Oh wait, equipment checks, just in case. I, I'm, I should do this. And uh, what, Axiana got some chain? Yeah. So she's all silver and stuff. Cool. Walk out. And which way is west? I think this is the road out here. See, again, we, they just like plop us in the middle of the field out here. I don't know why the game does that. But whatever. Go. And Aachen. And uh, what I'm going to try to do in the city of Aachen is... Uh, I'm going to try to find a, uh, another sponsor. That will... Um, that'll give us another quest. To take out the robber, or the robber knight. Um, usually, you can you can get the same quest by going to a city that that you would think is affected by the same robber knight. And considering that Aachen is a, a, a city that's close to to this guy, I'm assuming it's this castle, by the way, just because it is northeast and it's pretty close. I hope it is, because otherwise we'll be walking this marsh all the way up, or maybe across the river here. That'd be a pain in the dick. Alright, but we made it without uh, any problems. So, here we are, uh, before the city of Aachen, the ancient capital of Charles the Great. I don't know who that is. Rich in craftsmanship. As a free city, the Rat of the Reichstag has uh, selected the... the so she off <laughs> to rectate the affairs. This is this is hard to guess. With the S and the C H and the and the surprise face and the double Fs. What what the Yeah, I'm not gonna try. You suspect it you'll be unknown here. So we are going to check the clock. It is six PM. What is that? Is that still daylight? We're gonna try. It is. Uh Toby. Sex him up. All right, he pats him in the butt. We run off. Um, he is the he as in the guardsman. Toby wasn't the one that patted the guard in the butt because that'd be a, that'd be a little creepy, for our party, because you know, we're we're not probably into that kind of stuff. Let's hope not. <laughs> All right, let's go and wait. Till daybreak by punching some bad guys. Because it's always fun to do. Let's uh, patrol the park. Alright. It's good exercise. You know, start things off by shooting cutthroat thieves and then breaking them in half. Ah. Oh. Not enough damage. So you can get another shot. What? You don't have a shot from... Step out of... There we go. Step away from Inferno there. Prayer on the javelin. Oh, nice shot. This guy has a pink cushion. Alright. Toby, finish him. And Inferno got this guy. Uh, Ping, uh, you don't want to aim at this guy. See if you can have a... A shot at throwing your javelin onto that guy's, I don't know, wherever. Wherever you think would hurt. And Axiana, you can, I don't know, come over here or something. There you go. 
Okay, looks like uh, Inferno's engaging the guy in front of him instead. That's fine. Oh, or maybe not. Or maybe, I don't know. Inferno's full surprises. Oh! Oh, you missed. Alright. Charge bang. And, uh, what is taking you so long, Toby? Finish him. Finish him! Fatality, there you go. And Axiana whips around. Smacks this guy in the face with her long spear, right? Maybe not. He blocked. Blocking. Parrying. Oh, no, he didn't block that one. No, 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 he's dead. Okay. Javelin and his pings. Hopefully got some shooting experience out of that. There we go. Good. Good. Wow, 70 bow weapon skill? That's amazing. Victory! As you catch your breath, common folk come into the street and thank you. Axian is a good shot. That she is. Alright, um... Yeah, let's see if we can, like, get back to the end, and then we'll call it a day. Oh, no! These guys. Suddenly, the Night Watch steps out of the doorway. Their leader strides forward, boldly asking, Who violates the curfew of Hawking? Us. Me. Um. Run! Dashing off down into the alley. Yeah, somebody falls over. Who fell over? Inferno, as usual. Okay. We're sorry. I don't think that... No, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, usually you get a a free free um what do you call it run away from the guards um and then you get another chance to pay so it never hurts to try to run i guess all right let's just file into the in here and um spend the rest of the night drinking all right Drinking, I don't know. I don't know, can you still be, like, paladins of God and still drink beer? I hope you can, because... Because... That, that'll, that'll put a huge dent in morale, I think. Uh, okay. You know, especially Yaxiana being Swedish and Toby. You know, German people like their lager beers. I don't know about Canadians. I don't know what the hell they drink. And Romanians, you know, I think I think they drink too. I think I think all of Europe are a bunch of drunkards, personally. <laughs> Did I say that? I hope you didn't take any offense to that, you European people watching this for some reason. Okay. Anyway, let's continue. Um, what did I want to do here? I wanted to find some sponsors. All right. Oh no, who are you? Your your eye is caught by a sleek skulled little man with three walnut half shells and a dried pea. Come, play the game, he the I can't talk, he cajoles. Only a groschen, he explains. I put the dry pea under a shell, see? Then I shuffle the shells. He suits action to words. Now, which shell holds the pea? It is obvious, and you point to it. Sure enough, you are right. See how easy it is, says the fellow. That was just practice, since you didn't pay. Let's play for real. If you win, you get two groschen. Mm. Well, all right. Toby places a groschen on. Oh, we don't get to pick yet. Okay. Smiling with pleasure, the fellow takes your groschen. Then he puts the pea under the middle shell and switches them around very quickly. You aren't quite sure, but it looks to you like the pea is still under the middle shell. Which shell should you pick? Well, uh... We'll go with Toby's gut feeling. It's the center shell. Curses! The pea was under left shell all the time. Wait. All the time. Right. Oh, too bad, says the little man, insincerely. Let's try again. Maybe this time you'll win. Just one groschen. Toby places another groschen on the table. <laughs> All right, but this time he thinks it's under the right-hand shell. Ah. All right, he's about to point to the right-hand shell when Ping goes, No, it's, it's the left-hand shell. Trust me. All right, so we'll go with Ping. Curses! 
ping is wrong. And he gets another Goshen from us. We'll just... Axiana's gonna laugh and... And begin walking away. Or maybe Inferno. I don't know. Both of them. Okay. So that was fun. I don't think you could ever win that... Win against that guy. I, I've never won. And I... I think I... Want, at one point I'd spent like... 10, 12, maybe even a whole floor on that guy and never won a single round. So, um, you know, when, I, when we meet him up, when we meet with him again, we will just laugh. I just wanted to see if I might get lucky because, you know, I'm LPing the game. And when you LP games, weird things happen. But, yeah, I lost. Didn't work out that way. Okay. So let's go into the foreign traders here and sell our... Hey, he's got a short sword. Dude. And, um, as much as Peng wants to, wants to grab this short sword, we're gonna wait and, uh, check out the, uh, the craft district. Because the Aachen. Because the Aachen? <laughs> because the city is boasting that their craftsmanship is, is fantastic. So, um, we're gonna go with the billboard. And uh, check in there. But let's we'll just kind of browse around the merchant district here. Or the merchant quarter or whatever. Hey, he's got a harp. I don't want to spend my precious 549 Fenny yet, though. We'll leave. Go to the pharmacist stalls. And I do want to get into alchemy soon. Should I should make that a priority. Alright, but we're not getting any um, quests. We could try the Hanseatic Hall, but I don't think we're... We're famous enough for them to give us any quests, but we'll try. Uh, in the rich wood-paneled offices of the Hanseatic League, a snotty junior clerk poignantly ignores you for over an hour. <laughs> but finally, Peng uh, goes up and punches him. Um, now he pushes, in front of pushes Peng aside and uh, smile and inquire about any special services required by the Hansa. The junior clerk informs you that the masters of the league in Aachen have an extremely full schedule for the immediate future. An audience with any of them is quite impossible. Yeah, I figured as much. Alright, so we'll just uh, not chat with the clerks. We'll leave by the main gate or the main door. Yeah, you're gonna need you're gonna need some fame in order to attract these guys, and we don't have the fame yet. Mm, all right, we'll go back down the main street or we can go into the banking offices and see if they would be uh, willing to sponsor our our uh, what do you call it run against the, the Robert or run still doesn't sound like the right word but we'll try because words don't matter as long as you understand what I'm talking about um, Toby is going to try as hard as he can to request an audience to discuss their special tasks. Ooh! High five, Toby! The senior clerk introduces you to the master banker of Aachen, Norbert Goldenmund. Oh, that sounds like a banker name. Uh, who greets you with warmth and friendliness. Sirs, your reputation is well known, be begins Norbert. Uh, I am hoping you may be of some service to me in a matter of some import. Tobias nods politely. But first, let me show you this modest purse. Uh, an eyebrow. <laughs> what is that? Uh, uh, a small strong box is open, displaying ten florins, a pricely sum. Then the box is closed and locked. Uh, now, let me explain our difficulty. There we go. Explaining further. Uh, you're not Hartwig Stromer. But sure, maybe it's his representative. Hartwig Stromer, his representative, says, The rapacity of the robber knight Raban Parcharmer knows no bounds. For years we have paid him off, but now he demands more than, more than even we can pay. We refuse, so he has cut off travel. He burns bridges, fells trees to block roads, and murders wayfarers. What a troll. Eliminate him, and we will pay you well. Uh, later, you privately discuss the matter. The fuggers... The fuggers? I think the fud... I forgot how, the, how this word is pronounced. The fudgers are rich beyond measure, but the task is not easy. The robber, robber knights of Germany are hard men, served by tough and loyal warriors. But yeah, we know that much. 
Okay, so uh, where is he again? Uh, his castle is northeast of here. You can see it in the horizon. All right, so awesome. I didn't think that was going to work, but uh, hey, we got uh, a sponsor. So let's see if we can keep the uh, the ball rolling and head into the, uh, the Medici representatives. All right, in the office of the Medici, uh, the greatest banking house in the world, you respectfully discuss your business with the senior clerk. So, uh, Toby, do your thing. Ah, uh, a junior clerk politely but firmly states, I'm sorry, but Albert Berg is quite busy with some important matters. I'm sure you understand. You understand quite well that you lack sufficient charisma or reputation to interest the Medici in your services. Ah, uh, Toby just got kicked in the nuts. Yeah, but he's not feeling too down. Uh, we uh, got uh, Fudger to sponsor us, which is uh, not too bad. I, I, I honestly didn't think that was going to work. Let's get out of here. Um, Alright. Now to the Dark Side Alice, where we are going to check out the Swordsmith's Lane. They don't have the short sword that Ping wants. 28 quality. Alright, neat. Let's head to the uh, armor's way to see if they have anything. Chainmail. Large shield. Cool. You know, I typically don't use large shield just because they weigh so much. And, um... The, I mean, they, they offer a decent bonus, but... Uh, just the, a medium shield, I think, is my favorite, just because the the weight and the uh, defense bonus kind of balances out. You know, it's it's that nice middle ground. Anyway, uh, let's just go in here, just because we can, and grab some bolts for Toby. I think we should stock up a little bit, and, like grab like fifteen. Because, uh, you know, there's multiple ways to uh, go at a, a robber knight. And, uh... You want to go fully prepared. And fully prepared means lots and lots of shooty things. Like arrows and bolts. We won't really have to worry too much about Ping's throwing weapons, just because he can recover them after each battle. But, uh... Yeah, shooty things... Like arrows and quarrels, you want to make sure you bring plenty when you fight against a rubber knight. Alright, but uh, now we are in the less violent district, where Ping is going to take over as leader. And uh, show us to the astrologer's lane, where the signs have angry faces. Along the darkened street, you finally find a sign with the true alchemical symbols. Unfortunately, you also find... A sign on the door saying, Painful Pearl waits any who disturb my slumber. Oh, it's nighttime. You recognize alchemical signs for injury and death around this message. Okay, wisely decide your business. Must wait until dawn. Good idea, Ping. We're glad you're here to point us out all the symbols of death and decay all over the dude's door. Otherwise, um, yeah, we would have gone right in and got blasted in the face with, with said death. Alright, so I guess we're gonna have to call it a day. And, um. Guess. My nose is getting clogged for some reason. <clears throat> Excuse me, there. Let's see if we can just work for the day. Work! Damn you! There you go. Haha! See, we didn't. We don't have to spend half a day there! I think as long as you can make it to the inn in time, as, as, uh... What's the opposite of dawn? Dusk! Dusk falls. You don't have to, you wouldn't have to spend the whole, whole entire day, you know, doing a job. Or spending the, the residence time, or oh my god, my, my words are falling apart. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be doing this so late, but, uh, whatever. Um, where now? Right, we're going back to the to the astrologer's lane. Well, the signs don't have those angry faces anymore. 
Alright, Ping spots the best alchemist in Aachen. Tom Weil. Inside, you are very polite. We need to buy a Philosopher's Stone, too. All right. Ping is not leader. Make Ping leader. So, what say you trade formulas? No! I saw you late at night. You were about to come and disturb my slumber. Turn you to... Turn you to penises. Alright. Oh, wait. Edge of office is still pings because we're going to be going to the to physician. The, 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 the physician. And the determinist skill. Poor skill. Cuspinian. Goodbye. We won't be trading business cards today. Or ever. Okay. So now I think we can go back to the market. The Mark Plaz. And uh, get this foreign short sword for Peng. Go. It's serrated. It's all exotic, Peng. Aren't you happy? There you go. I think I'm gonna just let him hold, in, hold on to the Ponyar just because... I mean, it did slay a demon in the end. And that's pretty badass. Alright, so let's leave. Okay. And there you go. Short sword. Awesome. You know, I, I, I could have given Inferno's <laughs> short sword to Pang, technically, but I... I sort of want in front of it to hold on to a short sword just because it has better penetration than a long sword. Long sword deals overall more damage, but uh, its penetration value is three, which meets scale. And uh, it's nice to have a uh, sh a short sword that meets the penetration value needed to pierce uh, well pierce scale and uh, meet chainmail strength. So that's there you go. That's why Inferno was being a meanie. And plus, Inferno feels pretty badass having, having you know, like a long sword and a short sword. Like like a like a European-Canadian samurai knight. Alright. I think the last thing we need to do is head to the church. Alright, come on, Inferno, you samurai knight of Canada. Uh, where do I want to go? The Sermond. Where monks study their thing. Uh, we wish to have Ping lead us in and inquire about their library. All right, a single silver piece to learn about. Uh, ooh! All right, there's Victor again. Um, oh, oh, did I not? I'll, I'll, I'll find out. Uh, there's Tarakus, Cosmos, and, uh, uh Bath, Bath, uh, uh, oh, you know what, F you. F you, Bath, though, I, I, I can't say your name, but Cosmos, um, we're gonna study St. Cosmos for, um, uh, for a good reason, which you'll see. Alright, and I think I forgot to, yeah, see, I, we learned about Victor of, uh, of this French place. Uh, but I didn't get to read it last time. He's a Roman soldier condemned to death. He converted his guards, who were then sentenced to die with him. Enhance his charisma and all weapon skills by a modest amount, and speak common by a good amount. He can also restore all lost endurance and a small amount of lost strength. That is pretty spiffy, except I can't cast him, which is problematic. Alright. Is it like Marseille? Isn't double L's not L's in French? I don't, I don't, I don't know French people. But uh, we learned about Cosmos, who is more important than, than the Frenchie. Uh, he's the patron saint of barbers and physicians. Uh, Cosmos was twin brother to Damien. Uh, the two performed many miracles, both before and after their deaths. Cosmos enhances perception by a small amount and healing by a tremendous amount. He also heals a small amount of strength and endurance, and gives knowledge of Saint Damien. And that is why he's pinned, because, um... If you pray for somebody, that somebody will learn Saint Damien. 
and and Saint Damien will also give you knowledge of Saint Cosmos. So at least everybody in the party will know Saint Cosmos and Damien, which is handy because Saint Cosmos and Damien both heals uh, strength and endurance. So they're pretty much uh, uh, an access to to healing spells. A plus. And we can, yeah, and we can cast him. Inferno can cast him. Very nice. We could, we'll probably use him uh, during our battle against the Robber Knight. Alright. That was, uh, that was a definite gain. And now we are done here. And, uh, we are going to park ourselves in the Fries and Wrath. Fries and Sounds like a really, really goth burger joint. Fries and Fries and Wrath. Get your Fries and Wrath. All right, I was lame. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna end it on on that lame joke note. Then uh, when we come back next time, uh, we'll be facing the Rubber Knight. Uh, it'll be. I'll be hopefully exciting and epic and not completely fail and end LP and, and frown face. <laughs> okay, so see you then.